guys welcome back to my youtube channel for those of you guys that don't know me my name is tanya and welcome to honey stories and um i know i did mention something about a giveaway and my snapchat and my instagram however nobody ever did the the rules or whatever to win the giveaway so um, there's no giveaway unfortunately but there is this video so before we get started with this story time i want you guys to stop right there and subscribe to my channel because there's so many of you guys that watch my videos but only like a few of you guys subscribe to my channel so i want you guys to do that real quick for me all right so let's get started y'all okay so the story time today is going to be about what happened to my arm you see this you guys all right here and also i have scars here on my arm um i don't know if you guys can see but yeah so we're gonna talk about what happened to my arm because everybody and their mama has questions and i have answers so i'm here to answer them for you guys and also another thing i will be inserting pictures and videos so um if you guys are weak in the stomach i suggest you guys click off of this video or fast forward the pictures because they are pretty gruesome so this happened about two three years ago the day before this happened um it was actually a perfect day it was my mother's birthday um i had took her out to eat some rolled ice cream i took her out to eat food like actual food and then i took her to navy pier to see the fireworks so it was a pretty awesome day that we had <laughs> however the next morning wasn't so good so um i have a few dogs well i had a few dogs um i have mainly you know pit bulls they're all male um i have a mastiff and you know whatever i have a few dogs <laughs> and some of the male dogs don't get along with the other male dogs one of them happened to be outside right um and me without knowing without you know thinking to go check like you know to see if there's a dog outside i, I let go of my husky um because i had a husky too and he didn't get along with any of my pit bulls so um so yeah so i go ahead and I'm walking to the back to let him out to the yard and all of a sudden I open the door and I see my pit bull right there so I'm like holy crap and it was like legit a stare down because like no nobody was moving I wasn't moving my husky wasn't moving my pit bull wasn't moving I was up the stairs on my porch with the door open and my pit bull was down the stairs just like looking at me like bitch what the fuck are you doing <laughs> and i'm like right then and there i was like fuck what did i just do so my first reaction was to pull my husky inside and close the door right so i tried doing that and as i was doing that um i guess my pit bull was faster than me so as i was closing the door my pit bull runs up the stairs and just starts attacking my husky and i'm just like holy fuck and my dogs have fought before because like i said some of my dogs don't get along the male pit bulls they always try to be the dominant ones i guess um and in this case my pit bull wanted to dominate my husky um my husky's also a male so as they were fighting my first reaction was to try to separate them like i've done before in the past with my other dogs and you know i've i've always i was always able to separate them so i didn't think of it as a big deal you know but um throughout the midst of everything um i end up getting trampled on i have no idea how i got trampled on i have no idea but I was on the floor and like my dogs were like jumping everywhere and it was just it was crazy you guys like I'm telling you it was crazy and then all of a sudden I feel like a, it wasn't it's not like a pain I felt like a pressure on my arm right 
so i'm like i'm like this on the floor or whatever mind you we're still like in between the doorway of like outside and the porch so like we're right there and the dogs are fighting and i'm just like i feel this you know pressure on my arm and i'm just like what the fuck and then like all of a sudden like i kind of i kind of you know snapped out of it because i kind of like blacked out i guess i snapped out of it and then um i realized that i have like blood like gushing out but i didn't know from where there was just blood everywhere and um and so i start calling out for my mom and i'm like help me help me i'm like calling out for everybody so they can go and help me and separate these dogs because i couldn't i couldn't i don't know how this happened that i could not separate my dogs and i've done it before with two pit bulls and i can't even separate my pit bull and my husky it was like it was crazy but um my mom comes out to the porch and i'm like yelling for her and she she thought it was funny because instead of saying mom mom i was calling her like mommy i was like mommy mommy help <laughs> and <laughs> and i never say i never call her mommy i always call her mom like who calls their mom mommy i don't know anyways i was like mommy mommy and then um she comes out and um she picks me up the dogs are still fighting like they they're just in their own zone like in their own fucking world so my mom gets me up and then she's like oh my god your arm and then i look down at my arm and then um at the time i only saw this part right here right i didn't see this all of this so i'm like fuck so then she she grabs me a shirt and then um the shirt had a had a bunch of lint and like all that stuff on it and i put it on there without even thinking because you know I, I was just trying to stop the blood because the blood was gushing everywhere and then um so then i i go inside and my sister's there my little sister she was just like shook like she was like what the fuck happened to your arm she just looked like she saw a dead body like she was just stuck she was like what the fuck and like everyone was home at the time so they were like looking at me they were like oh my god they thought i was dying or something at the time all of this was not funny at all i mean it was crazy it was so sad too but um, i'll get to that part in a bit um so everyone's like frantic they go you know to the back to try to separate them and at this time um the dogs were going into the yard so they were still fighting but it moved to the yard and um my sisters were all out there their boyfriends they were trying to separate them you know whatever my main concern was going to the hospital well uh, me and my mother's concern was to take me to the hospital to see you know how bad my wounds were and um so we get there you know and this whole time i'm in pain and i'm like worrying about my dogs like you know are they okay and um so basically what happened was that throughout the midst of everything them fighting one of them i guess confused my arm with the dog um so literally like i, I wasn't i'm not sure which dog it was if it was a pit bull or the husky but one of them had my arm in their mouth and I know they didn't bite me like like for real for real because if it was for real I feel like they would have did more damage but um basically when my arm was in there I had pulled it so that's why it's like in a line and like so many people ask me like did someone like stab you or like slice you or something and it's not that okay <laughs> but yeah so that's what happened um one of the dogs bit me I'm not sure which one I ended up pulling my arm and then this happened so fast forward we get to the hospital um you know they they take care of me immediately because they don't know how bad the injuries were so we get a room they're cleaning my wounds and still at the time I didn't know about this fucker right here and like I didn't feel it at all um until you know my mom came in and like she was taking pictures and then she showed me and i was like what the fuck i just started crying even more because literally you guys my my fucking my arm was like split open and it was like huge it was like this fucking big and i just started crying because i was like holy crap i didn't even want to like turn my arm and look at it but um 
oh my god and then when like they were cleaning like the inside of my wounds it hurts so bad because like they were trying to take out all the lint from the shirt and they were like damn girl you couldn't have used like another shirt or something <laughs> and honestly like my first reaction was just to grab that shirt and put it on my arm but that hurts so bad so while i was in there i was just like you know crying and i was so worried about you know my family at home and i was worried about my dogs and you know they were telling me my mom was telling me that they had called the cops or whatever because they got to the point where like they were literally like kicking the dog they were pouring water they were not letting each other go and so that's why i was so worried and then you know i'm in the hospital and like you know i had my fucking arm all ripped up and shit and like they were just talking about if they're gonna have to do surgery if my bro bone is broken all this stuff so luckily my bones were not broken whichever dog bit me uh bit me hella close to my nerves and all that stuff right here on this side and then yeah i was just in there um a guy came in and like you know prayed over me and just made me try to like calm me down but it made me cry even more because he started talking about my dogs and that they're gonna be okay and i was like i don't know if they're gonna be okay like they're fighting and stuff but really quick i'm just gonna insert uh the pictures of my arm when i was in the hospital So it's pretty fucking bad like the shit like I said it was split open like hella wide and it was real deep you could literally see my bone my muscles everything and then here too you saw all the tissue and all that stuff so it was pretty fucking bad so I was in there and then um the nurse comes in and she's like your arm is fine you know we just have to clean it up really good um and then we're gonna put she said and then they were gonna put like uh some shots to like numb it or whatever and at this point i couldn't feel my whole arm so even if they didn't put that i would still be fine with getting like stitches and stuff because my whole arm felt numb at the time like i could not feel it whatsoever and like legit like i thought they, that the dog hit a nerve because like when um i was on my way to the hospital i couldn't move my fingers at all like it was like this like my whole my whole hand was like dead like i couldn't move it i was just like this the whole time and then, like my fingers were like you know all bunched up and stuff because i couldn't move my hand so the nurses come in they you know inject me with the stuff to numb my arm and then they waited a little bit and then more doctors and nurses came in and then um right away they started stitching me up they were literally draining the blood for like a while because it was so much blood but yeah like with this with this side i got a i got a few stitches i got um let me see one i got like five stitches here like four or five stitches here and then here they didn't put a lot of stitches because it was so wide so like even when they put the stitches it would still you could still see the shit inside it was so nasty when i was getting the stitches like i didn't feel anything but yeah my arm was like in a cast for like a month and a half i have no idea but it was so salty because literally that same month that same week actually i was going to florida to universal studios so like i was in, in a whole cast trying to enjoy my vacation and shit and i couldn't but um but yeah like i got so like frustrated like not being able to do anything with my arm not being able to tie my shoe not being able to um do my bra strap from the back i wasn't able to do anything with my right arm because the whole thing was in a cast like i couldn't move it at all because i had stitches here so they didn't want me you know moving it and then the stitches opening so i learned how to do my makeup with my left hand i know how to do a lot of stuff with my left hand now <laughs> so i will be inserting pictures of after the stitches too
as you can see it still looks pretty nasty and open but let's fast forward a little bit still in the hospital my mom received a phone call and basically saying that my pit bull um, beat up my husky really really bad um, my husky was not moving he was on the floor um, we didn't know how bad it was but um basically my husky was laying there in like a thing full of blood like a bottle full of blood he was still alive so he wasn't dead or anything and like they were trying to get to the husky to m remove him from the yard from that whole situation but my pit bull was so like protective over him like he was not going and um but finally out of nowhere you know they were able to grab my husky and take him rush him to the vet um to get checked out and um and yeah like he he fucked them up really 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 bad he broke his arms well his legs he broke his legs and then um his teeth were missing um and then like you know he just bit him all over the place and he was like bleeding like internally and um at this point there was no saving him and um you know after the hospital i went to the vet basically to say my goodbyes because um there was no saving him uh, the doctors did mention another option um but that was thousands of dollars and he would only live for a few months so um so yeah we couldn't afford that and so i went to the vet to say my goodbyes um so that was very sad and unfortunate that that had to happen and i blamed myself for the longest like um because you know if i would have just checked outside before i let my dog out you know then shit would have been different way different my arm wouldn't be like this you know i would have one more dog and um you know it just it sucks but you know everything happens for a reason i guess right we had my dog cremated um we lost a couple of other pit bulls that we had due to like cancer and um of old age so we we also had those dogs cremated so now we have them all together um so yeah we have them all together and yeah like i i blame myself like i said i blame myself um however we have cameras around my house and um one day one day i just decided to go through the cameras you know and they're usually set off by motion so you know i have a tree in my backyard so the camera in my yard is always set off it's always set off so um i clicked on a on a random video and um you can see my husky clear as day you can see him clear as day just running around and this is after the fact so literally you can see his spirit running around and um i <laughs> i saved the video so you guys are gonna see the video right now um and uh and yeah just pay really close attention to like the top left corner uh by like the swing set you're gonna see it like perfect and then you just see like a white mist running around the yard and it's so fascinating because like i had like i said you know my i have other dogs that passed away but this dog that's running around in the yard that you can see clear as day looks like a husky.
that right there just made me you know it just took like a whole load off my chest and like and like i was able to like you know like just breathe you know because i blame myself this whole time and i'm like damn you know like he didn't deserve to die and you know he didn't de deserve to die but after seeing that video he just looks so happy you know running around in the yard and like and that kind of like put me at ease and at peace with everything um because i see now that he's in a better place and that he's happy and running around and just being free like this dog he was so free you know what i'm saying like we would keep him inside obviously because he would run away all the time like this dog ran away like so many times like i can't even count how many times and we've always managed to get him back every single time even if he was gone for like weeks because i don't know if y'all know but huskies are smart and they jump high and they love digging so he was either going over the fence under the fence through the fence however but he was getting out that motherfucker but yeah so seeing that video made me so happy and at peace with everything and um i mean obviously you know it still left me everything left me scars and all that stuff but um like i said everything happens for a reason um and it's very unfortunate that everything happened the way that it did but um i just thought i should share with you my story of how i got attacked by my own dog um what happened to my arm what happened to my dog um just everything um and i hope that clears it up <laughs> so that's it with my story time for today and like i said don't forget to subscribe i will also be leaving my social media accounts down below so you guys can follow me um don't forget to give my video a big thumbs up and comment and share if you like i mean why not you know <laughs> so i'll see you guys next time